growing up, I always knew when my parents were talking to white people on the phone. It was in their tone. How they switched it up to sound less like themselves and more acceptable. I didn't understand black magic back then, but I get it now. It's in the way how we change the energy in rooms, the ways that we move, the ways that we create, then give things to you when they no longer have use. Black magic is carefree. Like jumping on trampolines, ignoring your noose. It's the way how our skin hides the bruises, hides the evidence. It's the way the sun bows to our melanin with reverence. It's standing up and demanding to be seen when the world treats you as irrelevant. It is knowing how to go numb for self-preservation, how to hold your tongue when the man being killed reminds you of your brother, your husband, your son, black magic, is knowing funeral hymns by their name and number. Hearing them so many times, you have every line memorized, it's going to work heartbroken, but still being expected to be full of life, to co-sign what's hip while hiding the chips on your shoulders, it's wanting to break, but knowing how many worlds your love holds together, it is being stretched, thin, like limbs, on pavement. It's in the way we speak to spirits and invoke the spirit of the dead. It is spending mornings, mourning with unwed widows, men, never to be seen except posted on screens. Hashtag RIP Black Magic is the way that we normalize pain and still find brushes to paint masterpieces with it. Our ability to hope, to love, to fight, to forgive, it is in our will to live, not just exist, despite those who'd like to see us extinct. It is thick skin, thick lips, thickness, milkshakes that bring boys to the yard, lactose intolerant or not. It is voodoo in Ebonics, hood economics. It's the unicorn found in a black man's tears. It's a black woman fighting for freedom against fear. It's black kids loving the feeling of their hair and no, you can't touch it. This black magic is sacred. Harriet Tubman on steroids. Jamaican maroons keeping watch over Wakanda. It is the spirit of Nkrumah, Lamumba, Huey P. Newton, Bobby Seale, and Malcolm X. It's Marcus Garvey checking passports on the journey back home. It's ancestors haunting oceans, strange fruit that pesticides can't kill. It's the secret sauce at the cookout with no recipe written down. It is the music in our steps, the choreography in our speech. It is the beauty we possess that hatred could never bleach. We are the definers of pop culture and we feed it to you like addicts. We might give you a little taste, but you will never have black magic.